This is a simple case of an IOL uh, exchange. Certainly every cataract surgeon needs to possess the skills for a basic IOL exchange. Uh, this patient received a multifocal lens implant uh, three months prior and was having extreme difficulty adapting to the photopsias associated with this lens implant and the patient desired uh, an exchange for a monofocal lens implant. So I'm going through my uh, initial paracentesis, which was relatively easy to open up with the viscoelastic cannula. Um, and then doing visco uh, dissection here, just uh, using viscoelastic to separate the, uh, the capsule from the lens implant um, and then uh, injecting more viscoelastic to completely fill the capsule. Now, the most um, concerning part uh, of this is making sure the terminal bulbs of the haptics are free. That's where the most fibrosis uh, occurs, and that's where you're most likely to tear the capsule. So you can see here the trailing haptic has been dislodged from the capsule. We were able to visualize the terminal bulb, and here we're able to do the same thing. Uh, with the leading haptic. So this lens is now completely free from the capsule, but you do want to always check to make sure that the terminal bulbs are free. The longer the lens has been in there, typically the more fibrosis. So now we're going to use the MST uh, micro forceps and IOL cutting scissors and uh, attempting to cut this um, intraocular lens while it's in the anterior chamber. So I've elevated it up above the capsule to help provide uh, safety and space between where I'm cutting and where the capsule is. There's plenty of viscoelastic beneath. Um, you can see we're trying to hold the lens as stationary as possible with the forceps. And we're going to attempt the Pac-Man technique here where we cut through about 90% of the lens and then you grab one corner and pull it out, just as seen here. This time it amputated, which it oftentimes will, so no problem. You go back in with a little more viscoelastic and then you can grab that uh, edge with your micro forceps and atraumatically remove it through the same corneal incision without having to enlarge the corneal incision. So now we're going to reinflate the capsular bag and inspect and the posterior and anterior capsule appear to be uh, intact. And now we're going to insert the new monofocal intraocular lens. Uh, in this case, this is a, an Alcon Clarion monofocal. And use a second instrument just to position and center the lens to make sure it centers well. Again, looking for st structural integrity of the capsule. The capsule appears to be intact without any uh, defects or deficiencies. You can then remove the viscoelastic material just like you typically would in a standard phaco emulsification. Then we'll hydrate the wounds check to make sure we have adequate centration of the lens implant. And again, this is just a basic and simple intraocular lens exchange.